Grassroots football, the lifeblood of the sport, a place where dreams begin, where communities come together. But beneath the surface, a darker side festers. Abuse towards referees is rife. It's a stain on our national game. Week in, week out, these brave men and women take charge. They volunteer their time to ensure fair play. Yet they are subjected to a torrent of verbal abuse. Insults, threats and intimidation are commonplace. It's simply unacceptable. This isn't just about a few bad apples. It's a systemic problem. A culture where disrespect towards officials has become ingrained. From parks to pitches across the country, the story is the same. Referees are being driven away from the game they love. We need to ask ourselves, what kind of example are we setting for the next generation? When abuse becomes the norm, everyone loses. It's time to blow the whistle on this disgraceful behavior. Wales, a nation passionate about its football. But in a bold move, grassroots referees took a stand. They went on strike, a powerful message that they had endured enough. This wasn't a decision taken lightly. It was a last resort, a cry for help. The strike brought several leagues to a standstill. Games were postponed, leaving many disappointed. But it sparked a vital conversation. The strike garnered widespread support. Players, coaches and even fans rallied behind the referees. They understood the importance of their role. The message was clear. Enough is enough. The strike served as a wake-up call. It highlighted the urgent need for change. The footballing authorities needed to act. Respect for referees had to be restored. Sean Reagan loved football. He dedicated years to officiating, rising through the ranks, but his passion turned sour. The abuse he faced became unbearable. He was forced to walk away. Sean's story is, sadly, not unique. He endured constant verbal attacks, threats, and even physical intimidation. The pressure took its toll. His love for the game dwindled. He felt alone, unsupported. Sean's decision to quit is a damning indictment of the current climate. When experienced referees like him are driven out, it's a major loss for the sport. His story serves as a stark reminder of the human cost of abuse. We must listen to the experiences of referees like Sean. Their stories are a powerful reminder that words have consequences. It's time to create an environment where referees feel valued, respected and safe. The abuse of referees is a symptom of a deeper issue, the culture within football. From the touchline to the stands, bad behaviour is often tolerated, even encouraged. This needs to change. Too often we see players arguing with officials, questioning every decision. Coaches berate referees from the sidelines, creating a hostile atmosphere. This behaviour filters down to youth football, setting a terrible example. The win-at-all-costs mentality is partly to blame. The pressure to succeed can lead to ugly scenes, but winning should never come at the expense of respect. We need to promote sportsmanship and fair play. The culture shift starts at the top. Professional players and managers are role models. They have a responsibility to set the standard. When they show respect, others will follow. Whistleblowers under fire. More referees speak out. Sean's experience is sadly not an isolated incident. Across the country, referees are sharing similar stories. The abuse they face is taking a toll on their mental health and well-being. Many referees report feeling anxious and stressed before games. They dread making decisions knowing they could be subjected to a barrage of abuse. Some even fear for their safety. The emotional toll is significant. Referees are leaving the game in droves. This shortage of officials is putting further strain on the system. It's a vicious cycle that needs to be broken. We need to create a culture where referees feel comfortable speaking out. They need to know they have the full support of the footballing authorities. Their voices must be heard. Players on side support from the pitch. It's not just referees who are demanding change. Many players are equally appalled by the abuse. They understand that without referees there is no game. They value their contributions. 
Players have been vocal in their support for the Welsh referee strike. They recognise that abuse is unacceptable. They want a game where everyone feels respected and valued. Some players have even taken it upon themselves to challenge abusive behaviour on the pitch. They are setting a positive example for others to follow. This player-led initiative is encouraging. The support from players is crucial. They have a powerful voice within the game. When they speak out against abuse, it sends a strong message. Together we can create a more respectful environment. Time for change creating a respectful game. The time for talking is over. We need action. The footballing authorities must implement meaningful changes to protect referees and eradicate abuse from the game. Zero tolerance policies are essential. Abusive players and coaches should face stiff penalties. Spectators who engage in abuse should be banned from attending games. Education is key. We need to educate players, coaches and fans about the importance of respecting officials. Campaigns promoting positive behaviour can help shift the culture. Support for referees is crucial. They need to know they are not alone. Providing them with training and resources to deal with abuse can help them feel empowered. A final word, let's protect the beautiful game. Football is more than just a game. It brings people together, it teaches valuable life lessons. But the abuse of referees threatens the very fabric of our sport. We all have a role to play in creating a more respectful environment. We need to challenge abusive behavior whenever we see it. We need to support our referees. Let's remember why we love this game. Let's protect the beautiful game for future generations. Let's make sure everyone feels safe and respected on and off the pitch.